Hey there, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. It is time to talk 224 Valkyrie progressive loading. That's right, for all of you that haven't seen it so far, I built not one, but two custom rifles chambered in 224 Valkyrie. I started with a custom Remington 700 bolt action gun with the KRG Bravo chassis. The thing is shooting great. And then I just completed my AR-15 build. You're gonna to wanna to check out the stories on that that are coming up shortly. Subscribe to Gavin Tube. Make sure you have notifications turned on. Both of those rifles with 24 inch barrels, both with one and seven twist. We're not messing around. I got match grade barrels and I'm really excited about the results that I'm getting with load development. I can develop a load with the bolt action gun, confirm that load with the AR-15, and I can interoperate that load between the two. Now I've started to load with a progressive reloading press because when I go to load bulk ammo, part of the benefit of doing load development, like a 10 shot load development, is finding that speed node. The node where you can fluctuate your powder charge slightly and not get a whole lot of a change in FPS numbers when you shoot over a chronograph. In fact, I just shot about a half inch group with the AR-15 last night and I got a standard deviation value of seven feet per second for five shots. That validates to me that this Uniflow powder measure, which has large capacity, is going to do a perfectly adequate job for precision ammo. What I'm going to do, though, is size off the press. Now, I'm loading with new Starline brass here today, but what I plan to do is size on a single stage like the RCBS Summit here. Why? Because if I'm using small base dies, it's going to require a lot of force and I want to make sure that I have ultra precise control over the shoulder setback because I will be shooting it both in the AR-15 and in the bolt gun. This is precision long range ammo. So my compromise on speed and precision is to size and D prime here on a single stage press, clean the brass and then run it through the progressive and we can use an expander ball here to uniform the case mouth in case anything happened while it was being cleaned. We prime on the press. The Pro Checker 7 and Pro, Pro Checker 5 have a really nice priming system with a really good feel, probably best in class, I would say. We charge with powder and we seat the bullets. It's going to save us a lot of time and the results are going to be perfectly within the window of my specifications. So let's get to the press. Let me show you how I have this set up. And let me show you how fast we can load 224 Valkyrie. Okay, so real quick on the components, brand new Starline brass. This stuff is shooting awesome. And Starline recommends that you run an expander ball through the neck, which you'll see when we get to the press setup. I'm using 70 grain nozzler RDF bullets. These are good middle of the weight range for 224 Valkyrie bullets and they've shot really well for me in 22 Nosler. So I thought I would start with these bullets uh, in order to get kind of a baseline load development underway and while I'm waiting for some of the heavier bullets to come in stock. And then Federal 205 small rifle primers. This is a good mainstay primer that I like to use for a variety of different scenarios like 223. And then Varget powder. Varget is good for kind of the middle to lower weight bullets in this weight range. And the other note is it's a shorter stick compounder compared to H4350, which I have had a little bit of trouble with with the 22 caliber drop funnels. It can bridge because the stick length is just a little bit longer. So Varget, definitely a good powder for this scenario. And for the press setup, we're gonna need a number 19 shell plate. This would be the same for an RCBS shell holder. That would be number 19 if we're gonna use a turret or a single stage. So that's going to work for 6.8 SBC or for 2.24 Valkyrie. And then for dies, I'm using the small base taper crimp 2.24 Valkyrie RCBS die set. I'm using both the sizer and we're just in an elevated position here so that we can run the expander ball through the new Starline case next. And then I'm using the cedar die here. So the station utilization is station number one. Sizer D primer, station two empty, station three empty, station four charge, station five empty, station six seat, and station seven empty. We could put a powder checker in here, we could do all sorts of stuff, but this is just a great baseline setup for this type of loading. Okay, so let's run the press up. Each time we're gonna insert a piece of brass into station number one and just run that expander ball through. And then here's the trick. I'm gonna wait for things to settle down nicely so that everything's perfectly aligned for priming and then go ahead and kind of repeat the process. It's all about the timing and the motion with getting a progressive to run smoothly. Settle in, push forward, really good feel 
for the priming. Now we're starting to charge the cases. And then once we get to the seating station, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna do a visual on my powder and then I'm gonna place a bullet. And we have all stations full now. Okay, let's go ahead and run the press down. So as you can see, with a press like the Pro Checker 7, we can kick out a lot of rounds per hour. And that's good because I'm shooting a lot. I just finished my 600 yard range. I'm doing a lot of load development at 100 yards. We're gonna be going out to beyond 1,000 yards. I've got a semi-auto and a bolt gun to feed. I need lots of ammo, and this is a great setup for that. Make sure you're subscribed to Gavin Tube. You're not gonna to wanna to miss the rest of the story with 224 Valkyrie. We got more load development, different bullets we're gonna be testing, shooting both rifles, all sorts of cool scenarios. So make sure you're subscribed. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading. Yeah.